What's going on everyone? Uh, this is Young Gun Farmer 416. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that uh, some of you non-farmers might be wondering and that's why farmers spend so much money on equipment. So this is a two-part answer in my mind. Um, number one, oh crap that's blocking. Number one reason is efficiency. So right now I find that a lot of farmers will invest a lot of money in equipment to increase efficiency. And when I say increase efficiency, it's de decrease labor because farming is very, very stage and labor intensive. So if they're spending a lot of money on labor, it's cutting into their profit margins and the profit margins are very thin as it is. So a prime example for me running a beef operation is I need to make it so that I can almost do everything or as close to everything by myself with one person. That's how why I invest in equipment and that's how, how um, I save money. Because even though equipment is expensive, um, labor is a lot more expensive because you need to find people and then you can't really afford to pay them that much money and you need to, they need to work pretty hard to, to make, uh, to farm. So it's a lot to ask of people. Um, so that's why. So a perfect example for me, one of my stages, um, uh, is tagging and then sorting. So tagging, tagging usually requires two people. It usually requires one person doing the tagging on a calf. So in the spring when they're born and one person to kind of distract the mothers so that you can tag them. With me, I find it's very difficult to find a second person to do that. And I find there's a very short window on when you want to tag, preferably within a week. And the reason is, is t uh, within a week is after a week, they get faster, a lot faster. They're, uh, so it's hard to catch them and do it. So I'm looking at equipment so that I can do with one person. This is uh, another example. So labor is the big cost. And the second one is there's a lot of equipment companies that have figured out that farming is expensive. So there is thin margins. So they, they can advertise that and really push for that. Um, efficiency can be pushed in equipment. Um, a lot of the new engines push the efficiency argument. And I don't think that you're getting what you're really promised. Um, I just, I don't for the amount, like a per, uh, another example is a tractor, right? So they're always saying you should get a new tractor. It's a lot more efficient. But if you look at the tractors and what their general purpose is as a tool, are they that more efficient? Are you going to gain the amount of money in difference from that amount? So if a tractor, a hundred horse tractor is 120 grand right now. So let's say that's brand new, hundred horse tractor, brand new. Yes, it does a lot of interesting features and all of that, but 130,000, you can get a used 100 horse tractor for 60,000. So are you gonna gain? Actually, you know what? We'll go 70,000 if you're closer to new. So are you gonna gain, what, $60,000 in efficiency between that tractor and a new one? The other thing is, is a lot of these new tractors actually burn more fuel with the new E3 engines with DEF fluid. So DEF fluid, what if for anybody that doesn't know, it's a blue little cap that burns with diesel to make it more environmentally friendly. But what it causes the, the engine to do is burn hotter. And you'll notice in new trucks from what I found is it's actually a lot more expensive to have it because it actually increases the amount of liters per hundred that you use. So that is why farmers spend more a lot of money on equipment efficiency and to decrease labor so i hope this answers some of your questions guys if you have any other questions i'd love to hear them i'd love to help you guys out and understand a little bit more about agriculture and how a young person can get involved in agriculture and how a young person can make money in agriculture because it is possible it's very difficult i i won't lie to you guys it is very difficult but it is possible um, the, usually you need an advantage, right? Whether it's land, whether it's your, your family backing you a little bit, or whether it's money. 
So one of those three, you need one of those advantages to really get going. So that's a different topic for another time, but that is why farmers spend a lot of money on equipment every year. This is Young Gun Farmer 416 signing out for another day. Also guys, if you like my videos, check out some of my other ones. I've talked about other questions about agriculture that a lot of people have um, in some of my other videos. I also show active farming videos of me doing things with a tractor. Uh, so there's a little bit of everything. And the other thing I really like to focus Sorry guys, my video cut out there. Um, this is just a picture of the cattle as our calves this year. Um, my last note that I wanted to mention was, is what I really like to focus on in these videos is informing people that don't come from a farming background and creating a positive space for them to ask questions and learn more about agriculture, how it works, what, you, what is involved in a day-to-day -day on creating um, a product or in my case an animal for the customer and I, uh, I really want people to see the true side from someone who's actually doing it because I know there is a lot of misleading information out there and uh, yeah that's it so guys if you have any questions I'd love to hear from you um, please leave them in the comments below take care guys keep farming <music>